It's in the corners of the race course that shaving seconds or even half seconds can make huge differences in overall speed and tactical edge. In this chapter about spinnaker sets, we emphasize the importance and sequence of the functions during the set so that the individual processes flow together without interrupting the boat's forward progress. Our instruction is geared for windward lured courses, but it's important to note that executing a set on a windward lured course with an offset mark is very different from a set on a traditional windward lured. The offset leg allows for a controlled preparation zone free of most tactical considerations. On traditional windward lured courses, the preset preparation must occur on the lay line just before the mark rounding when there are still tactical and speed considerations heavily in play. All sets follow roughly the same process with the crew setting the pole, bearing away, securing the jib sheet after a slight ease, pre-feeding the spinnaker, hoisting the spinnaker, and dropping the jib. Rarely does this sequence change. In fact, usually a wrapped spinnaker or confused spinnaker set is a result of skipping or rushing one of these important steps. The driver must maintain control of the boat and its turn when rounding a mark and setting the spinnaker. In many cases, the driver must ease the main to keep the boat flat prior to the turn and ultimately must ease the main to turn the boat. Therefore, the driver should always uncleat the main ready to ease prior to the rounding. Once around, the driver may have to trim the twings, ease the backstay, and center the traveler. The trimmer, as always, keeps hiking as long as possible. He should step in only enough to support the bowman in fulfilling his duties. That support may include a final adjustment of the pole or helping the spinnaker out of the bag. The trimmer's primary responsibilities are helping the boat to turn through sail and weight trim, pre-feeding the spinnaker, and getting the spinnaker flying. This is a handful to say the least. In order to do all of this, the trimmer generally has to ease a little on the jib sheet just at the mark, cleat the jib sheet while leaving the rail, help the spinnaker out of the bag, trim the guy to bring the spinnaker around the boat, trim the sheet to fill the sail, and finally uncleat the jib sheet if necessary for the bowman. The ease of the jib sheet is a particularly touchy thing. No ease and the boat may not want to bear away in heavy breeze. Yet a luffing jib doesn't pull the bow down away from the wind either. However, too much ease creates a more obvious problem with the spinnaker. Here you can see how the jib interferes with the trimmer's actions on the guy when eased too much. This set is salvaged by Dave's aggressive spinnaker trim and the bowman's attention to the pole though. The bowman sets the pole on the approach, hoists the spinnaker while bearing away, and then drops the jib as soon as possible. It's helpful for this position to minimize movement and generally to spend as much time as possible on the rail between setting the pole and hoisting the spinnaker. Our bowman, Blake Kimbrough, raises the pole on the approach while still keeping his feet on the rail steps in as the boat bears away to attach the pole to the mast, hoists the spinnaker as quickly as possible, gives the pole a push forward to allow a fair lead if necessary, uncleats the jib halyard, and pulls the jib down by tugging on the leech rather than moving his weight onto the bow. 
The keys to good sets are well-timed movements, maximize the time spent on the rail hiking, make sure the guy and spinnaker clear the foot of the jib during the set, and keep the process organized enough to allow at least one pair of eyes to pay attention to the boat behind and the next choice on the course.